So today I'm going to do a little tutorial, a little demo of the Bluetooth control pad app for Android. And um, I'm going to start out by by telling you what I'm going to, going to control. So this is an Arduino Uno. It's connected to a little speaker. It's connected to a Bluetooth interface device and um, and it's battery powered. So the idea is that that yes, this Arduino is programmed to generate musical notes and I could um, implement the triggering of the musical notes through a cable connection to my computer, but um, I would want to cut, to cut the cord, so I added the Bluetooth interface and developed this app. If I turn on my turn on my Arduino, it plays a scale. And so, so that lets me know that, um, that uh, the device is up and running and my Bluetooth device has a blinking red light indicating that it's not connected to any device. So um, the app, Bluetooth Control Pad, I can start up by pressing on the icon and the splash screen comes up and um, and some kind of key layout comes up. So this is one of the sample key layouts that comes with the app and this one um, emulates a calculator with the numeric keypad plus the operations over on the right. Other sample layouts that come with it I can see them by um, selecting use a key layout or um, an XY motion layout so I have an up button, a down button, a left button, a right button, a home button, and a clear button. And when I press each one of these buttons, they send a character to a Bluetooth device to um, control it. So I use this layout to control my XY table. So here's my XY table here. But I'm not going to demonstrate that today. And then use a key layout um, hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is a key layout that has um, all the hexadecimal digits, 0 through F. And then, um, then you're allowed to um, send various control codes, ASCII control codes. So a carriage return, for example, is a non-printing character. It's a control character. It sends the cursor to the left-hand side of the screen. and um, to see what that, how that's defined, I can long press the button and it says this key labeled carriage return, CR, is assigned the button number 5 and will send the, pa the uh, percent sign 13 character when pressed. So the code for uh, carriage return is um, ASCII code 13 and so I can send non-printing characters as well. So the process of um, developing a key layout for a particular device is to um, go and say edit a key layout. No, I could edit a key layout, but instead what I want to do is make a key layout. So make a new key layout. And now I get a matrix 5x5 five five of 25 buttons and I can take any of these buttons and um, define them as notes to play on my Arduino now. So the way you get started is you long press a button that you want to define. So, so if I wanted to um, define button 7, okay, I get this and it says I have to fill in the label and character fields and then press the set button. And uh, this will come up every time you do it unless you say, I got it, don't show this again. So I'm going to press I got it, don't show this again. And the first note I want to play is a C, so I'm going to put a C in there. And the character I want to send is a C, and press set. And now you see that, that button is defined as a C. Now I can do the next one. 
put in a label that's going to be D and it's going to send character D because I want to play the note D. The next one, E, and I'll put an E in there, set, and then down here maybe I'll define an F, F, set, and the next one, G, G, set, and now I'll make a mistake intentionally. There's no note that's an H. But I'm going to put an H in anyway, just to show you that if I make a mistake, I can fix it by just long pressing that key. And it says the button is already defined. Do you want to delete it? And I'll say yes. And now I'll redefine it as an A. Okay. And I think I have one more note in the scale to fill in, which is a B. And I set that. So now I've taken these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons and I've defined them um, as my scale in the key of C. And, um, and I can check by holding down the check button what the layout is going to look like. So when I use this layout, it's going to look like that. And I can save the layout. So I'll, I'll click check again to get back here and then put in a layout name and I'll call this tone and click Save. So now I've saved my Tones layout and now I can go back and use it. Use the key layout. Tones. And so there's my Tones, tones layout. Now I haven't connected my Bluetooth yet. So I go back to the menu, select a Bluetooth device, and I know that this Bluetooth device is the HC06 device, so I'm going to click that. And there we go. Bluetooth is connected. The device is the HC06. And my status says Bluetooth is OK. My layout is tones. So I have seven keys defined. And now I should be able to play my notes. Let's find out. C. And there you go. So that's my demonstration of how, to, uh, how easy it is to create a layout in Bluetooth control keypad. And um, this is available on the Play Store. And um, I hope you, uh, you download it and um, enjoy using it. If you build things, um, this is much easier to have an intuitive key layout um, that you've defined yourself than using some kind of uh, Bluetooth terminal program. Especially um, because you can even send non-printing characters with this. So, this is Bluetooth Control Keypad for Android, and um, it's available now. Thanks.